Welcome to Cobras and Fire. My name is Baco, and I am pleased, of course, to bring back to the program uh, one of the hosts of the Blame Your Brother podcast and uh, a close personal friend of mine, uh, David Brewington. Uh, how are things out in Nashville? Uh, is is the weather turning warm yet? Yeah, it's good. It was nice today. Went out, celebrated the Monday that felt like a Sunday, and, um, you know, it's it's great. Like 50, 50, 60 degrees, I'll take it. I, I mean, I'm not a I'm not a cold weather person. I'm ready for the hundred degree temperature. So I'm, I'm, I'm my, it's good though. I like, I like fall. I like spring, you know, so it's nice. Do you have today off uh president's day? Yeah, I, I work for the government. So all those holidays I get, I get every one of them and I love it. So. <laughs> right on. Well, I had you on today here. We're going to do kind of a bonus step uh, episode to kind of discuss something that, um, well, I definitely have some thoughts and opinions on it. I wouldn't say it's near and dear to my heart, uh, uh, um, largely, hopefully what comes across here is that I really don't give a shit, but at the same time, it doesn't mean I don't have a brain that doesn't work. And I haven't had some, some thoughts on this. And we are talking about the Super Bowl halftime show. Uh, of course, uh, this year we had, uh, basically death row records, uh, representing with, uh, um, oh, we got Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, uh, and their pro, uh, Dre's protege, Eminem. Uh, good to see him kind of out and about, uh, Mary J. Blige, uh, Kendrick Lamar, who, I'm going to flat out say I'm not a fan of. Uh, we'll get into that a little more. Uh, although I thought he did great um, as far as what you can expect from this kind of show. But just he, just not for me. Um, and then what else, who am I missing? Uh, 50 Cent came in and hung upside Good down. Senior. Tried to recreate that video. But uh, anyway, you and I had a little fun uh, online. And, of course, like every year, it the, the day after or the day of, the reaction is, is it's too strong one way or the other. Is I guess it's probably the... The way I go, um, Prince is always kind of like used as the. This is the example of of the pinnacle. I'll actually go out and say, Prince is the beginning and end of the list. I really don't think mm. uh, there is much topic beyond that. That was the only one that I that that to me, if you want to talk about quality or or anything like that, it's the only one that really delivered across the board. It it it. it uh, the hype surrounding it and leading up to it, I thought he blew past that with his performance. It was live. I mean, and some of the stuff he can't script, it rained during fucking Purple Rain. And and when the when it started raining, the guitar didn't sound quite as good anymore. And yet it was still one of the, the most powerful performances I've ever seen. And that's really hard to do in that environment. Um, I'll kick it to you, but, I, but I'm going to set you up a little bit and, and let you know that, like, you read one of my uh, more extensive extensive comments on your show recently, and I think the general tenor, I think you represented fine, um, but there is a couple of points that I tried to make in there that I don't think e- either I didn't communicate well, but they definitely weren't didn't come across the, the way the, you read that. But uh, let, you were a big fan of of this this year's halftime show. Um, well, let me just kick it to you, and, and then we'll start getting into the debate here. I mean, yeah, it was one of my favorite. I mean, Prince, obviously, like you say, that's number one. I'll, I'm, I mean, I'm a huge Prince fan, so that was that's the greatest one. I, I don't see anything ever beating that. I, I agree with you on that. But this is probably when I look back at what I I want out of halftime show. This is probably my second favorite one. I mean, I '90s the '90s rap scene was like a new awakening for me. So, you know, I understand it's it's a spectacle and like. I, I thought the Bruno Mars was really good, you know, and that's not someone that I was a huge fan of when he performed. I mean, I was very familiar with his songs. I had kids that were listening to Bruno Mars. I was kind of blown away by his. Uh, to me, it's not about artistry. It's not about going to see a concert. It's about performing in front of millions and millions. It's kind of like wrestling in a sense, you know, you're performing mm-hmm. in front of millions agree. and millions of people. Right. And so that's why I don't really have a problem. If the artists want to lip sync it, I've read a, a bunch, like some artists do, some artists don't, you know, they kind of explain. I, I would like, like to know, chime in not- just on that real quick. There does. Yeah. I don't, I don't think there's been a debate for a decade by anybody that, that has paid close attention to it. I don't remember the last person that was live, maybe the who, uh, and it wasn't even totally live. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but it was liver than they're doing right uh, now. No, Lady Gaga was live. Yeah, I've heard that. Get that. I saw the fucking thing. It, that thing was as live as, I don't know. No, she, her, no. I mean, if, if they're changing songs and everything, she definitely was live. I mean, that girl is a talent. So I forgot. Yeah, they, Lady they record Gaga's all that stuff. Show. Those changes are recorded and, and replayed. Well, she said, but, she, yeah. 
She said it was not. And so I can only go on what the artists say. I mean, most are, are very I, honest. About. I don't fair know why enough. I'm calling lie. bullshit. I don't, I didn't, none of that came right. off live I, to me, but like uh, I don't know. I don't know why she, I don't know why she would lie. I mean, there's nothing really to gain from that lie. I, I always, me and John on the show, I always ask every lie you have to approach. What do you have to gain from this lie? You know I mean? I don't know that her fans care, but anyway, regardless, um, I, I mean, I saw the Rolling Stones and those dudes definitely were not lip syncing because it was right. bad. It was, I mean, it was terrible. You know, and that's, and, and that's, that's where I just, that, 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 well, you know, I'm going to let you go. I got, I got a bunch of things. I, I don't want to keep interrupting you. So carry on. No, you're fine. I mean, it's give and take. Um, I just say I, the sound from what I've read, I don't know. You know, obviously I've never played <laughs> anything like that. I've played in a band, but nothing like that. But I did play at different venues. And every one of them sound travels different. Some mm -hmm. of the bigger ones, you know, it was more difficult than more, some more the intimate venue. So I get it, you know, but obviously with the stones, something was going on. And so, like I said, if I'm watching that as an artist, I may be like, okay, maybe it is time to <laughs> play to, a, like you say, a pre-recorded track, a, a because most of these are people that are not up and comers. They're not, they, they have nothing to prove. They're doing this as more of a, it's a nostalgia act, it's you know. I mean, none of them. It's a complete fucking yeah. sellout, especially if you're not going to play. But, but they don't <laughs> even get paid. So what, what's the sellout? I mean, they're really doing it for the. They don't get paid, so they're redoing it for their fans. I don't know. I mean, you know, look at or, uh, the catalog uh, spike on um, almost any time one of these artists. Uh, you mentioned Bruno Mars. Yeah. Uh, it, so my personal theory: there's Prince, take him out. And we can talk about everything else. There really is nothing. In and it's not because I'm from Minnesota. I'm not the biggest Prince guy in the world. Right. Uh, I just thought that was a magnificent, ma a masterful performance by a guy who's really good at what he does. But uh, yeah, Bruno Mars was probably the last one that I was like, you know what? I'm going to actually check some stuff out because I didn't know much about him. I only knew one tune. And I walked away with at least two more songs that I wanted to find right. out what they were and get, get more about it. But yeah, that was also not very live. He was also very entertaining. I thought this year's show... It was entertaining enough, if, if, but to me, it's always in the context. I took a little umbrage because, frankly, I saw comments like, I might have to unfriend people who won't admit that halftime show was masterful. I'm like, come on, man. What? I, mean, yeah. maybe, I'll, I can admit that it's not for me. Why do Why do I have to suddenly also like kowtow to this idea that like it was really good? I'm sorry, that house was clumsy and stupid. Uh, I really like the Compton map. Map. I think I posted that in the comment that you read. I thought that was really cool that they kind of shot the the streets of Compton on on the field. That was really so. There's things I liked and didn't like about it. I thought it was embarrassing for everybody involved. I don't care what role you played, other than maybe some of the the low end dancers, that they couldn't find four people to pretend to play instruments who have actually picked instruments up before. That they just got like some rant. Like they they look like they've never seen a guitar before, and they're up there pretending to play. You know. So beyond the lip syncing, mm -hmm. you couldn't even get a, a someone who's strummed an acoustic to 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 be up on stage with you. The, the drummer looked like he had no idea where he was. Uh, well, that that drummer that drummer is Anderson Pack, who is a very like uh, he's a he's a hip hop artist, and he works with a lot of his art. He's worked with Kendrick Lamar. He's worked with Dr. Dre. I mean, he's very respected. I'm guessing in the not behind a be behind a, a a typical acoustic kit. <laughs> no, I, I yeah, I don't think he's he's not Prince or anything. But I think he was up there as more or of like Bruno a nod. Mars. Bruno Mars played some drums. Yeah, that's true. You know, but. I, but I guess I didn't really notice that just because I was looking at it through the nostalgia lens. And I don't expect, I mean, once the Red Hot Chili Peppers played and were kind of goofing around like they were kind playing. Of it. Yeah, it's kind of tongue in cheek, though, at that point. Like, all right, we get it. This is all, then why it's all showbiz. It? I just, I really don't. Uh, I I hear these, you know, these these explanations like like I have no idea why the super why they they do all these things like why they insist on lip syncing uh and and, and having a pre recorded track and I get it to me these are all reasons why we pay way too much attention to this thing you know the the it's because to me in the perfect world is just do a normal halftime highlights and commentary come back have the halftime show for the people that are actually there that the, all this hype the real i mean we're three or four months away from finding out who it is next year and then a, a handful of like little teaser clips and you know tiktok videos and and pepsi hyping this thing up and i don't know who it is and i'm gonna like it a little more a little less or the same as i did this year because i just it, it's right and, and it seemed like a lot of the criticism criticism this year was like Anybody who didn't like this is a white redneck who just is a racist and all this stuff. I was like, you know what, man? 
I don't like it because I don't. It, it, it wouldn't matter. I've literally gone because I saw right. also some of the rocker guys like post like memes of like, let me know when you're ready for a real halftime show. And it's like kiss. And I'm like, <laughs> Jesus, fuck. You know, I don't want that either, man. I don't want the Foo Fighters to do this. I, I respect the Foo Fighters. I just. Oh, they'll do it. Oh, they'll do it, though. They're going to do it. You I know that. Know. Already. You know, I, I wouldn't be shocked, David, but I, I'm not a. a Dave, Dave makes some certain decisions that that I think kind of goes against the idea that maybe he really cares that much about it. Uh, I, I, maybe maybe he'd be he'd be the one that can go. I'll do it, but we get to play. I mean, I because I, I think that's kind of what Prince does. Right. I, I think um, what's his name? Garth Brooks did. It. He was the last one to actually perform the the national anthem live. Um, and then yeah, you get all these debates where people are like, no, oh, that person was singing. And it's like, yeah, I'm just tired of the whole thing. I made a meme, right? Uh, that's you know that the whole brace yourself guy it was like, brace yourself. People bitching about people bitching about the Super Bowl halftime show is coming. It's like, yeah. to me, all of it. I just I I don't I don't like the hype. I don't think this rush to comment on it and say proclaim it the best, the worst. None of it. I just, you know, I again, I don't want any rock. I'm not claim, you know, I'm not sitting there going, man, if you just got like warrant in there, you know, that ain't me, man. I I know those guys exist, by the way. I'm just like, it's not everybody. Believe it or not. I just I skipped out on the Springsteen halftime show. I, I went and cooked because. I thought they, the, the hype was like, this is a historic. Ha-. It's not fucking historic because it's Springsteen. He's just going to do the same bullshit everybody else does. That's. Ah. I guess I, you know, I, the couple points, I think a lot of these artists do it because they, they just love entertaining. I mean, I th- really, when it boils down <laughs> to it, whether it's lip syncing or not, but to come back to the other point, I mean, the problem is in this era is that it was political that there was, if you went to certain Facebook groups, it was, mm. Oh, these are talking about this year. These, are, this is ungodly. This is un-American. When are we getting the country artists on stage? When's kid rock going to perform? And like, I was in the moment, I was unaware of that. I was just watching it. I didn't even I mean, like the average person doesn't think about that. Right. Mm. But then you get on your Facebook feed and you have a few people <laughs> that kind of lean over in that weird area. And I went on comment and I was just like, is I can't even believe this is actually real that people like are saying, like, is this what you guys are doing? Like, and so I, that's why I think people in this era, you people just buckle down. Like if it, they got to buckle down, it's the greatest or it's the worst. Right. And I'm with you. It's really all in the middle. Like it is what it is. It's not the greatest um, performance I've ever seen without a doubt. Right. Even Prince, as great as that was, it's not one of the greatest. You're not going to put that as the greatest rock performance of all time. Right. I mean, it was fantastic. But you just have to look in the context of, because we you, was the Super Bowl good? Was it bad? You're always going to compare it to another Super Bowl. Was it as good as the Rams? Was it good as the Falcons? You know, uh, Patriots. That's what we did. We're like, you know, everybody just wants to do it. And But I think it's a chance for casual people to kind of, join in a conversation about the Super Bowl because they, they want, you know, the Super Bowl and NFL, they want as many people. That's why they jam these commercials down people's throats, which used to be a thing. It's kind of fading away now. And the music acts, I think they want the average person because I'm watching the Super Bowl. Regard, I, if, the, if there was no acts, there's no commercials. I'm, we're probably watching anyway. Right. But they want as much venue stream. They want all the add revenue coming in and they know that's have to have, have to do it. But I, I agree with you to a point though. If people say I don't enjoy it for this reason, such as your reason, I'm like, all right, I get it what you're saying. But I would, a lot of the other stuff was blatantly just I'm pro Trump and I hate, you know, all yeah. these, these black people from California. I hate California. So, you know, it, it became a very kind of a weird because my Twitter feed it does not have any of that. It was all just like you're saying, greatest thing ever. Great, 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 great. You know, I wouldn't, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't have co- commented about it, like on Twitter because you're asking for trouble. But, but I get it. And the question is, why do these artists do it? I mean, that is a fair question to ask. Money and I involved. think there really is. Yeah. And like you say, there is a bump in sales. But if you're Bruce Springsteen, how much more money? I mean, I don't. That's the one guy where I'm like, I don't know how much more money he needs. I mean, well, yeah, but he just um, sold his catalog for like five hundred million dollars. Did he need that? Right. Did and probably did, not. You want to talk about a sellout? He basically gave away control, creative control of his back catalog. A respected artist. You know what I mean? It just yeah. Uh, and, and I don't know. I it, 
You, you touched on, I haven't been to a Super Bowl party since at least before COVID. I honestly don't remember the first time I actually got together with a group of people either at my house or went somewhere. It's been at least five or six years, largely mm-hmm. because of what we kind of talked about. Is that like, um, I, de- I definitely do not want to be fucking shushed because the commercials are on. Or the goddamn halftime. I can leave the room and talk during the halftime if I really want to. So I'll I'll give people that. But fuck off. Your fat ass was standing in front of the TV during the fucking game. And you're shushing me because, oh, my God, this is we got to see the commercials and that whole aspect of it. I I I cannot believe I think I'm the only person who watched the beginning of the game. And I'm like, what the fuck is the rock doing? Why is this here? This is. I I am losing respect for the Rock. You know, it's like everybody's like, "Man, that that was amazing, wasn't it?" I'm like, I don't want more professional wrestling type shit. They're already ruining the Super Bowl every year with all these things, and it's just like, I I, I feel <laughs> now, you know, I I'm getting old. I'm just get off my lawn, guy. But my God, can we just at least acknowledge there's a football game being played? I, I I won't. I'll tell you what. I'll be quiet during commercials. If you turn the TV up loud enough for me to hear the fucking game over whatever nonsense you're talking about, you, you know That's why true. can't you stand behind in a in a different room? You don't care. Uh, we'll throw off a little. Well, I, yeah, I've been I've been to parties like you saying it's been a while. I mean, I usually just have family over now, mm-hmm. but I've been to parties where there were literally separate rooms for football <laughs> fanatics oh, and indeed. non-football people. It was literally separate wings of this person's house. I went, that's a, that's a good idea. I'm just, I'm used to noise. You know, I, just give me noise throughout the whole game. It's a chance. That's why football's a social sport. You sit around, you talk about the plays, you talk. And like, I'm like you, I mean, if you want to watch the commercials, go somewhere else and watch them. You know, if it's a funny enough one and we all just like, what's going on. But yeah, I, but yeah, there's people like that. And I don't, I don't know. My wife just, she leaves. She's like, I don't want to watch the commercials. I don't want to watch anything. She did watch, she did come in and watch the halftime show. And like I say, that spoke to people our age, I think, you know, because my, my kids were like, who are these people? But, which is a fair enough question. You know, like it's hard to even, who are they? It's hard for me to explain who they are. I mean, but you know, I, yeah, I, I, like I said, I'm not really going too hard on it. it. I think John said it best on our last episode. It's a spectacle. I think that's the, he's described as that. And I said, yeah, you're right. It's not really a music performance. It's more of a, like a, a movie of, of a, of a album, you know? And so, I actually think if you look at it just in that lens, it's almost always complete bullshit. It's like, it, I, I, it's almost like you have to feel connected and, and touch into this thing and force yourself into it. If we're really judging it on the spectacle, that was one of my comments. It's like, there are better dancers. There are better people who can lip sync. Why do we need Dr. Dre, you know, to to go bling, 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 bling for like, I don't, like or is, that, is he proving anything to me? I don't know. I mean, I just, and that doesn't matter who it is. Like, I think Michael Jackson was the first time that it, I recall anyway that that like there was a little extra attention paid because of the halftime show, and I walked away. My one of the things I, I I noticed about halfway through was like he has one mic for singing and one mic for talking to the audience, and then you know it started dawning me. He's like, this sounds almost exactly like the record, which of course it was. You know what I mean? Now they're mm-hmm. getting a little cl- yeah. more clever with that. They'll actually do re-recordings and and stuff to make it kind of yeah. blend. Because another one that I remember was ZZ Top at uh, in like I don't know the mid '90s. I think it was the Brett Favre's mm-hmm. first Super Bowl. But yeah, they played a medley. And y- anybody familiar with ZZ Top, you know, sonically, like a song like Tush does not sound like it was recorded in the same eon as something like uh hot like legs right and they played both those or at least songs from those two records and i was like this is really embarrassing if i mean you're up there just miming it and then it just kind of you snowballed from there prince was cool i like the rolling stones perform it but i i felt like it was it was very live um and it was like because it's hard to mix and get this stage built set up and and torn down and so you you heard some of that stuff kind of adjusted and it was kind of fun for me and as a musician to kind of look at it from that aspect you know that was actually an accomplishment to get him sound like good and it was i think the who was the next year or closely after that and it was kind of the same yeah. reaction i was like well it really doesn't matter who it is i want to see the rolling stones or the who more than i want to see gloria estefan and i think those arguments are equal you know what i mean is if you're not interested in it you aren't i like the artists that played it this this uh year for the most part 
I just didn't care for, I don't know, I thought they went deep on a couple tracks. I don't think the, the general public knows no more drama from Lady or, or Lady Gaga, uh, Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige. And Dre Day was a little yeah. deep, but, uh, you know, whatever. Those are really minor complaints on something that I really don't give a shit about. Fuck it. You're not ever, because the reason I'll never really get into it or enjoy it that much is because they're never going to go back and do the things that I do like about a live performance, which is make it live. Um, and right. I, and to me, that was one of the, that was like, what the fuck did he just say? You were like, I don't care if they use auto tune in the studio. And I'm like, do you even like music, Dave? <laughs> I mean, I like it when it's good, you know, and look, not every artist can sound like Freddie Mercury, right? Like we all understand that the artists are getting help in the studio. Like I've listened to certain tracks and I'm like, there's no way that said artist, Red Hot Chili Peppers. I was I actually went to karaoke this past weekend, and someone sang Under the Bridge, and I said, I find it hard to believe that Anthony Kiedis, he must have t- done 600 takes because he's not that great of a singer. <laughs> and that some of the vocals on that are decent. You know, I mean, he's not that great. So I understand there's studio magic, there's knobs, there's <laughs> auto-tune and all that. At the end of the day, it's different for different artists. Like it depends on what you want. I mean, punk rock was just shitty rock and roll. Right. But we liked it because it was, it was, it was that thing. A uh, Steely Dan records different than a Ramones album. It just depends on, you know, just what flavor you want. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. So but auto-tune, I get it, man. It's like literally it, it's there because you can't look if, if Anthony Kiedis can pull it off, but he needs 60 cracks, at least he fucking did it. And I, I don't think he? he needed that many takes though. Just because I don't, um, I disagree with your your assessment of his singing. I think it's pretty plain. And look, it fits the Chili Peppers. I, I mean, I, I love that song, um, but he's not like a rangy guy. That I don't think it would really take him that much work to. I don't think it's that hard to sing Anthony Kiedis' stuff. So I, he's. Right. But to me, that's fitting into your own limitations and trying to c- come up with your own personality. What we're doing now in this kind of day and age of of American Idol is just you know let's take establish songs and just have somebody else sing it as good as they can and we'll find people that are you know really good singers with no soul and to me uh, jakey lee said this to me personally david (laughs) when someone sings just a little out of key but they pull it right back in and they have that ability that's where you get soul and auto-tune takes now auto-tune can be used as an effect that I that right. I can appreciate a, a little more, where it's kind of used to kind of almost add some kind of doubling or a chorusy modulation to it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But when it's actually used to correct pitch, because you can't hit it. You mentioned Ashley Simpson. I don't recall her owning that at all. There was excuse after excuse after excuse, and it ruined her career. And it fucking should. It, it just it, now we're talking about fucking. I mean, Ashley should Simpson. But, I mean, I know. What are are you expecting her to have a career? I mean, that's probably a bigger question. That's more. That more speaks to celebrity. Was, uh, you know, well, more than, right, and that that's part of my problem. That's why you know, all this right. stuff. I that all ties into my whole negative attitude about all this stuff. Is that I I right. don't think people like them should be on Saturday Night Live. They they shouldn't be garnering that level of attention. And I I just. The Super Bowl sh- halftime show shouldn't matter this much. Pepsi should spend their money on something else. Um, I, I I don't think like someone like uh, uh, who's the guy who puts it all together now? Jay Z. Like this is like a feather in his cap of how he's a great businessman and all this stuff. I'm like, right. I don't think any of that is accurate. And it's just kind of this this. That's the point that I made. Where it's like this is kind of the downfall of how we we devalue music is that we've just kind of made it this stupid commodity, and people who feel different are just old, curmudgeony. Fuck them. They don't have anything. You know, and I have passion for it. I I, I have invested a big ton, chunk of my life in whether it's talking about it, playing it, recording it, learning it, all that stuff. It, I mean, since I was seven years old, music has been a constant in my life. I mean, there are almost every minute of the day, if there's a song playing in my head, I don't know if that's common or not, but I can tell you, I care because I, I think it matters. I, and I I don't see why that means that I'm outdated. And, and look, I get it. The two well, it does, it doesn't mean you're, it, it doesn't mean you're outdated. It, it means me, because I'm the same way as you are. It means we're in the minority. Most people, my brother said but this to me a long time ago. But you enjoy the Super Bowl halftime show. Well, you I, look I, forward just, to I, it. I, I felt bad. I mean, These people I, I respected are willing to sell their fucking soul, man. I look, yeah, I look forward to the hip hop greats coming together. Yes, I like that. I like it's a, it's. I really did like, like a, that. It's just, a, like a tip of the, it's them, a tip yes. of the cap, right? It's a tip of the cap. Like I was I, like, the, I don't even know who played the year before. I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't tell you. It wasn't it. I, wait, I, no, it's the weekend. 
Oh, the weekend. So I like the weekend, but I didn't even watch much of that performance because it was I mean the weekend's right. a great artist. You know, and I yeah, I kind of walked in and out of the room. So this one I was looking forward to just because of the I think it's more of just a nod. We're recognizing these artists as great art because you know, at the time rap wasn't really it's was kind of like a side thing, you know, like oh rap's not a real thing. I mean, I still hear this today. It's not like I but back then it was like, oh, anyone can rap. Oh, they're not really playing their instruments. It's like, I mean, okay. I mean, you could say that about a lot of things. I mean, art is art, right? Whatever it's subjective to the people it's speaking to. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's why I really look forward to it. But I think most people do not, as my brother told me, most people do not love music, Baco. They just like music. Mm -hmm. Mean people like me and you love music right i mean and i'm like you i'm thinking about music every day every way i'm so it's just you're in the minority like in the majority of people are watching the super bowl not the minority. and i even think about football i love football i can watch any football game i don't care if i'm let me invest team i love the f- sport of football most people just want to watch their team win or lose and they don't really care about the sport and that's kind of like the Super Bowl as well. You know, people just watch it to say they watched it on Monday morning. They don't know a thing about the game. They can't, you know, you just got to accept that that's people are just, most people are just going through life. Just, they don't really give a shit about much of anything, music, sports, any, movies, anything. So I, I get your frustration. And a lot of the time, I, I, like I say, when we we did the Mount Rushmore of, halftime shows other than said yo it's prince and it's everything else right like so now i just gotta i gotta pick these moments in time janet jackson's big for the what happened not necessarily that was my I could, favorite <laughs> i mean i mean kid rock kid rock performed that night and i don't even remember him either, being on, on the, right we uh, just remember nipple like gate over at my it. stepson you know he's like 14 or something like that i'm like did we just see her tit yeah. Right. But <laughs> like, like I said, back, but you gotta look back then, that wasn't even HD. That was like SD. So you're like, oh, what what was that? You know? Um, and so you yeah. kinda look at moments. You kinda look at moments. It's something we're kind of watching. The, the for, internet uh, it, delivered the next day though on that one. There was all sorts oh, of yeah. zooms in there. They, they all yes, they like, always uh, do. Her nipples kind of <laughs> a little bit. And Justin, you know, escaped by that. It's that's interesting. He went on to perform later without her, but mm. I don't know. I think people are a lot of time waiting for something bad to happen, too, truthfully. I think they're waiting for moments for something bad to happen, truthfully. I mean, like 50 Cent, okay? That was probably talked about more than anything that happened that night, truthfully. If you go online, there's more memes about 50 <laughs> Cent gaining some weight, which is, you know, happens. Say, hey, I'm older. I'm bigger than I used to be. Yeah. I would not attempt to do what he did in that situation, or I would get a trainer to work me out. But hey, he, he wasn't embarrassingly shit. fat. I mean, look, he got, oh. he got a little shit for it. You know, he's he's made some misogynist right. comments about women's appearance before. True enough. So. Yes. So fuck him. But uh, not right. look. I gotta I gotta clear one thing up though. I 100 percent get that this is geared towards a broader base audience almost everything i enjoy in life that can be said about i'm no longer 15 trying to convince the world that that the metal bands i listen to are are everybody should enjoy it for the same reason right um i i I don't have any hang up on that it's people like you that are frustrating me because i do respect your attitude towards music and then you're like I love this shit, man. This is great, and I'm like, I, look, I get I it. My mo- if my mom liked it, I get it. My you know, honest, if, if the right. if the commercial shushers were like, that was actually really entertaining. Mm, well, that's great, but uh, somebody who fucking knows as much about music and gets into as much as you, and you're not the only one, man. You know what I mean? It's like it's like fifty yeah. fifty. It's like oh, and, and again, the people that hate this that are into music that they get deep like this all they want is what they like to be there and i'm like does anybody right. care that this is a shit show like i mean i don't want my favorite bands up here man i don't want metallica there i don't want the foo fighter foo fighter seems like the most obvious one as far as big enough to do it but metallica maybe but i don't care i was in, i thought aerosmith with fucking britney spears was just, I mean, my God, how they could look at themselves in the in the mirror the next day after doing that. It's just, you. Oh, else? Aerosmith? Well, was it yeah, Backstreet they, they Boys, been, too, with them or something? Yeah, yeah. But have they ever been, they haven't been able to look themselves in the mirror for the last 30, 40 years. Come on. They're a, jo- <laughs> they're a joke of what they used to be, truthfully. You know, we all know that. I but guess. I, I, it will be interesting to see what, what they're obviously not going hip hop or rap next year. I, I almost feel like they might go country. I don't know how Garth Brooks has never 
done the show. It's kind of crazy to me. He was made for well, this Well, he insisted show. on singing the national anthem live, that he wouldn't do it otherwise. Maybe that's the big hang-up. He's like, maybe, hmm. unlike you, he actually has some integrity and <laughs> refuses to Hey, I, I would sell out in a minute, man. <laughs> David, we'll pay you, we'll you $100,000. I'm done. I'll lip-sync whatever you want. But also, I don't have the vocal range of, you know, Bruno Mars or The Weeknd it's, or Lady Gaga or whatever. So I, I get that. I'm more of a Anthony Kiedis type guy. So, But I don't know. It, you know like I say, I, general, I never would... No one will ever get scheduled when I'm going to be like protesting or anything. I'm yeah, like, no, eh, that who cares? You know what I'm saying? I'm just this was just I've, big I'm not for me, going on to, you know? to, to, to some. Now, I, I had an exchange with you, but I don't think it was me coming on. And right. saying, David, you're wrong. I will never. Right, like, no. I'm basically I don't care if you're just sharing anything in the world, even if I other than Beyonce, of course, I think I've made that clear. Uh, if, you, oh, if, if, yeah. if you like any pie or if you share a picture of your meal, you're, you're you either enjoyed or you just made it and you're proud. I'm not out there crapping on people who enjoyed it. But if you ask my opinion, I'm going to tell you, and you, that, that's probably where our exchange uh, got into. But oh uh, yeah, and of course, you know, we we uh, yeah. have history, so we can you know, jab at each other and not really. Oh yeah, so no, I I love it. I love hearing different. I mean, I want people to say, "Hey, this is why I didn't like it," and I don't like Beyonce either. I I would <laughs> I don't understand the appeal. I never have. I mean, Destiny's Child, Beyonce. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's all right. Once she went solo, I, I just don't care for it. You know, and I, that will probably get us murdered if it ever gets out. But I, I, I don't have really intentionally care. tried <laughs> to get uh, the beehive to attack me. It's, I, it's still unsuccessful. I'll maybe, maybe after this, I'll give it another crack tonight. But um. right. But yeah. But you know, to, to wrap it up, I mean, it, it, it yeah, was what it was, up. man. It, it was to me. I just think it was, it was, it was the music world going. Hey, these guys were cool back in the day, and you know, like I say, I. That's what it was for me. I guess I was excited just to see them being on a national stage. But I guess I just don't really, like you say, I just look at it as a movie. When I watch uh, Lady Gaga in the movie she was in, uh, the Barbra Streisand remake. I know what you're talking about, but I, mean, I never saw it. Yeah, I mean. Oh, what a like, horrible song that is, too. The shallow la la lo But, you know, you I like watch it. that and I'm like, hey, <laughs> uh, what's it called? It's called, it's, it's, it's shallow, she's great right? at it. Shallow, yes, yes. I, yes. I didn't think uh, either one of them song. quit. No, that chorus is. You can't even call it a chorus. It's embarrassing how popular. Uh, I've listened to it before, but I mean, it's not. It's not on a playlist or anything. Yeah, but um, Gaga's Gaga's. I mean, I would admit, dude, I, I I could break down some Ashley Simpson songs for you that have been on playlists. But okay, um, fair enough. All right. You know, I I have no shame in my game. I mean, um, but when I watch Shallow, when I watch Shallow, I'm. What, it, it's it's her singing in a movie, right? I can't really critique that as like her performance or musical I think, or anything but that's, like that's that. That's a different it's, setting, though. I mean, and there you, you are you're embracing the fact that this is you know set up. This is shot. This is a story. It's fiction. You know, I mean, it it it, it it's not meant to be okay. presented as as a live thing. This is a Super okay. Bowl Kiss. halftime show, a live performance. It's not. It's right. just not. Okay, what about Kiss Alive? Was that not presented as a live album? <laughs> we don't have time to crack that egg, man. <laughs> okay, exactly. I think that would be my closing argument. <laughs> wow, touche. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that's, that is pretty solid. I, I I need some prep to come up. I, I mean, I, I could probably come up with a pretty good uh, uh, cover for it, but uh, not on yeah. short notice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Well, hey, man, I appreciate this. I think the real lesson here for me is that, like, just like the two of us, you're not going to change people's mind. I don't feel any different. It sure doesn't seem like you do. So <laughs> that's good. That's too. right. But all right, man. Uh, but it's fun. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. Uh, you want to plug your show real quick? Yeah. So it's uh, Blame Your Brother. It comes out every Thursday or Friday. You can find it on all the podcast platforms. We stream it live on Thursday night. So just find us. Just search Blame Your Brother podcast. It'll come up. You know how to do it. And sure. You know, I appreciate people like Baco, inter you know, interacting with us. Always fun. So I and appreciate you for having me on this. Always a good time. Right on, man. We'll have you back on for, you know, a more regular episode again at some point, I'm sure. But, uh, hey, David, you have a good night. Uh, hope say hi to your family, all that good stuff. Blah, blah. All right. You too. Take care.